What's up guys, Online Fails here. I've made a second channel which will feature more public freakout videos and other sorts of stuff like that. So if you want to check it out, links will be in the description below. Thanks. How would you park your Cadillac like that and take up two spots? To my husband, you sissy. Why don't you bring him over here then? Well, I'm handicapped too. I got 12 herniated discs. Why don't you park in a spot that fits your car? Just because you drive a Cadillac doesn't mean you park in two spots. You're one of the people that are the problem. Thanks for making a YouTube video. No problem. Just to show how you did that. I'm not a sissy, I'm right here. I'm not, you came up to me. I don't have to do anything except show how you park in two spots. There's handicap spots and you can walk. You don't have to make it hard for everybody else. What do you got to say now? See, you got no compassion for anybody. You're a selfless, selfish person. How the hell would you know? You're, because you parked in two spots. It's not for you. You're selfish and disrespectful. What? You want to be on the video also? She's parking in two spots and you want to be on a video? Go ahead, you too. What did you want? Open your window and tell me. You'll be famous on YouTube. Open the window. She parked in two spots, so I told her it's not nice. If you want to be famous, that's up to you. Did she ever come in here? I'm asking you, did she ever come in here and smoke? He called the cops. You know what? He's standing the cops. I would, would have been good with you. No, no, I agree with you. But I would have been good with you. The problem is, is that he's yelling. Finish it. People smell that. Yeah, I smell. No, no, I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing. But how would you feel if you had your wife here or you had your kids here, okay? And he's fucking yelling at them. You wouldn't appreciate that either. Do you know why I yell at you? I I told you to get her out of here. I no, no, come on, go with you. I know, but I was going to before he started yelling. No, no, come on. You were yelling yourself. It's okay, it's okay. No, no, I know. I know, I know, I know. Call the cops, please. You'll have a report against you. No, against you. I don't think you guys would have a hope in hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, forgot that I know how assault and battery laws were. I'm not a guy, but the problem is yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Do I agree? Yeah, yeah. Good for you, pal. What the fuck? That was unexpected. I thought it was going to be a good old world star fight there, but. I understand that. But I was supposed to leave. Many, 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 many hours. Ну так, спальню, пожалуйста. Просто вот так вот положи. That the delay was being delayed two hours. I am now, I still have not gotten an update that we're getting delayed until that we're not getting boarding books or something. So I haven't gotten that update. You won't get a boarding announcement. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Flight 690 to Newark to JFK. That's really funny. We will be boarding around. Never! We're never going home, everyone! Never, ever! 3 p.m. 3 a.m. Thank you so much for your patience. We'll keep you updated. And yeah, and I wanted to bend in a split too, but the two people behind the intercom was being funnies. 
Yeah, uh, two chocolate, uh, one strawberry. Yes. Seven sixty. Seven sixty. Um, you know what? I don't like the way he's looking at me right now. The guy behind you. Hmm. I don't want to be on your camera. This is in case I need to uh, do a lawsuit. Supposedly, you guys need to be nice to the customers, right? No, I have the right to refuse service. Okay, and uh, so you have the right to ask me why. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. You're not calling nobody to this way. Okay. <laughs> now I need them to tell me why they're refusing service. They have to tell me why they want to refuse service to me. Hold on, Brandon. We'll leave in a minute. They need to tell me why they want to refuse service to me in case I want to do a lawsuit. So I went to the intercom and asked for a strawberry sundae, make it a double. The people at first, you know, I said, obviously everything strawberry. The guy behind the speaker was giggling and everything like that. And then when I asked for a banana split, the guy in the window was like, banana split? Well, behind the speaker, the intercom, laughing like that, joking around like that. And the lady right now uh, says she were, uh, has a right to refuse service to me. So I want to ask her why she wants to refuse service to me. I need to know why she wants to refuse service to me before I go. <sighs> Let me take off my glasses so that I can see my face. I'm not hiding. <clears throat> Before I leave, I need to know why they want they want to refuse service to me. I need to know why you want to refuse service to me before I go. I need to know why you want to refuse service to me. Before I go, I need to know why. know why you refuse service to me uh, the manager yeah I'm white I want to know why you refuse service to me I'm gonna do I'm cuz I'm gonna do a complaint that's why and I will let them know and I'll let them know about your customer he was rude to me on the intercom I'm the customer I have kids in the car okay then why was he laughing behind the intercom you know what, I'll stay here. I'm not scared of the police. Call the po po ho, old ass raggedy Ann bitch. Uh -huh. oh. the police everybody just get away from her. Okay, I'll wait here. I'm in a, I'm in a silver 2011 Hyundai Sonata. I have two children, uh, ages one to two. I have two teenagers and my husband. Yeah, in case you guys think I'm scared. I'm not scared. Okay. Um, I, I'm waiting for the police. She's called the police, so I have to wait for the police. You don't have to wait. You can leave. No, I'm not scared. I want to explain my story. 
I don't have class. I'm not saying I have class. I'm an asshole and I'm going to admit it. I'm an ass. I'm ignorant, yes. Am I classy? No. Am I a bitch? Maybe. Am I dumb for doing this? Yes. Do I care? No. Do you want me to name the list more? Am I waiting for the police? Yes, because I'm not scared. I'm not being arrested because I have not done nothing wrong. I'm going to explain what happened like that. I'll be waiting outside for the police. My name is Jessica Rusher, birthday 46 of 90. I live in Fedville, Arkansas. Uh, Brahms and Rogers. Uh, store number is 2305 for the record. I will be going and getting a lawyer tomorrow.